Flower Gathering by Robert Frost I left you in the morning, and in the morning glow You walked away beside me, to make me sad to go Do you know me in the gloaming, gaunt and dusty grey with roaming? Are you dumb because you know me not, or dumb because you know? All for me, and not a question, for the faded flowers gay That could take me from beside you, for the ages of a day? They are yours, and be the measure of their worth for you to treasure, the measure of the little while that I've been long away. Flowers, well, if anybody, by Emily Dickinson. Flowers, well, if anybody, can the ecstasy define, half a transport, half a trouble, with which flowers humble men, Anybody find the fountain from which floods so contra flow, I will give him all the daisies which upon the hillside blow. Too much pathos in their faces, for a simple breast like mine. Butterflies from St. Domingo cruising round the purple line have a system of aesthetics far superior to mine. Flowers well, if anybody, can the ecstasy define. Half a transport, half a trouble, with which flowers humble men. Anybody find the fountain from which floods so contra flow, I will give him all the daisies which upon the hillside blow. Too much pathos in their faces for a simple breast like mine. Butterflies from St. Domingo cruising round the purple line have a system of aesthetics far superior to mine. Had I not seen the sun, by Emily Dickinson. Had I not seen the sun, I could have borne the shade, but light in you a wilderness, my wilderness has made. I hide myself within my flower, by Emily Dickinson. I hide myself within my flower, that fading from your vase, you, unsuspecting, feel for me. Almost a loneliness. I'll tell you how the sun rose by Emily Dickinson. I'll tell you how the sun rose, a ribbon at a time, the sleepless swarm in amethyst. The news like squirrels ran, the hills untied their bonnets, the bobolinks begun. Then I said softly to myself, that must have been the sun. But how he said, I know not. There seemed a purple style that little yellow boys and girls were climbing all the while, till when they reached the other side, a domini in grey put gently up the evening bars and led the flock away. Leaves Compared with Flowers by Robert Frost A tree's leaves may be ever so good, so may its bar, so may its wood, but unless you put the right thing to its root, it never will show much flower or fruit. But I may be one who does not care, ever to have tree bloom or bear. Leaves for smooth and bark for rough, leaves and bark may be tree enough. Some giant trees have bloomed so small, they might as well have none at all. Late in life I have come on fern, now lichens are due to have their turn. I bade men tell me which in brief, which is fairer flower or leaf. They did not have the wit to say, leaves by night and flowers by day. Leaves and bar, leaves and bark, to lean against and hear in the dark. Petals I may have once pursued, leaves are all my darker mood. Within society, 
the community transforming lives, offering seeds, the joy of the good news, the message of love from God, grown onto the different soil, watered, fed, We should not mind so small a flower by Emily Dickinson. We should not mind so small a flower, except it quiet bring our little garden that we lost back to the lawn again. So spicy her carnations nod, so drunken reel her bees, so silver steal a hundred flutes from out a hundred trees, that whoso sees the little flower by faith may clear behold the bobo links around the throne and dandelions go. Planting Seeds too by Raymond A. Foss. Her loving hands, her faithful words, planting seeds, leaving stones on the journey of ministry, tending, watering the garden, leaving the seeds to other gardeners, each tending the plants for the harvest to come. <laughs> Seeds by Raymond A. Foss Seeds scattered, planted, watered by fire Flames of the Spirit giving us life Commissioned, sent to the ends of the earth Speaking from deep within God's loving healing The Flower Boat by Robert Frost the fisherman swapping a yarn for a yarn under the hand of the village barber, and her in the angle of house and barn, his deep sea dory has found a harbor. At anchor she rides the sunny sod, as full the gunnel of flowers growing, as ever she turned her home with cod from George's bank when winds were blowing. As I judge from that Elysian fright, that all they ask is rougher weather, and Dorian master will say by fate to seek the happy isles together. The Sun is Gay or Stark by Emily Dickinson The sun is gay or stark according to our deed If merry, he is merrier, if eager, for the dead Or an expanded day, he helped to make too bright His mighty pleasure suits us not, it magnifies our fright